Hi folks, my name is Paddy Hogg. I'm a councillor in North Archer and I'm doing a short video just now to emphasise the adverse health effects from mobile phones, from Wi-Fi routers in the home, from Wi-Fi used in the workplace, Wi-Fi used in cafes, in buses, and to emphasise that there are adverse health effects from all of these devices, including the large mast antenna, often situated near people's homes. Quite often you'll see them on top of blocks of flats. And what I would like to say is something that most people don't want to hear. These tech devices emit radiation, microwave radiation, that is causing a host of illnesses and diseases, including cancer. The recent science tells us that the radiation coming from all of these devices is a class one carcinogen, but there are hosts of other illnesses from oxidative stress, um, various things such as hormonal disruption. We use such devices like laptops on our knees, which irradiate parts of our body, our pancreas, our liver, into our legs and affects our fertility through irradiating our private parts. There are many illnesses that are going not so much undetected. They will be seen by doctors, consultants, etc. But no one's looking at the underlying cause. And the underlying cause, according to the modern scientists, is the most ubiquitous toxin in the modern environment. And that is electromagnetic radiation from the technological devices we have become addicted to using. And the really bad news is that the telecoms industry and Westminster have colluded for what is one of the biggest cons of the 21st century, if not the biggest one, that there is no harm coming from these wonderful devices that we all love. I use them and I've learned from studying the science not to put a Wi-Fi based laptop on my thigh and cause any more damage to my health. Not to use my phone while it's on, put it on and leave it in my pocket so that someone can call me. What we need to do is to learn behaviour where we lower the emissions of radiation, lower our exposure to microwave radiation from these devices. And basically what I'm trying to do here is say, phones should be used, put them on speakerphone, if we're speaking to someone, do not put them close to your ear. Putting them close to your ear and using a mobile phone for many years, for half an hour or so per day, or possibly a lot longer, we hugely increase the risk of a glioma brain tumour. A glioma blastoma brain tumour. Most people do not survive from that. We risk, run the risk of various other illnesses and diseases. Wi-Fi should be taken out of the home and taken out of schools. The remedy is simple, use ethernet cabling. Or in schools, you can use ethernet cabling or optical fibre. So, there are various things that we can do. Flight mode for your phone. Do not ever carry it while switched on in your pocket. Get a safety device to carry it either in a bag or if you're a woman, a purse or bag. Keep it away from your body. That is the instruction from the makers of the phones. Do not put it within one inch of your body. Also, the telecoms industry are not able to even insure these products any ill health because the insurance companies know that this is an environmental toxin that causes cancer. The recent studies all show that radio frequency radiation or EMF radiation should be a class one carcinogen. We are allowing our children to use these tech devices on a regular basis because they're full of fun, part of social media, they become part of modern culture and people are so addicted to using them and they assume wrongly that they are safe. Knowledge is power. We must get our children to lower their exposure. And I'm asking people who see this video to do the research Look at Deborah Davis's website, the Environmental Health Trust. Look at 
Dr. Erica Mallory Blythe's website, PHIRE, that's Physicians Health Initiative for Radi Radiation and the Environment. Look for Professor Paul's work, look at the Bio Initiative Report, and make knowledge your power. It is time for people to turn this around from ignorance to knowledge. Several months back, I was using these tech devices inappropriately, putting a mobile phone while it's on into my jacket pocket next to my heart. I have got sticky blood. The chances are within five or six months of me doing that, I would be dead with a heart attack. Unknown, simply a body dragged away, no one would know the cause, or he just died of a heart attack. If you're sitting with a laptop on your knee, you're causing Rouleau effect, the blood clumping together. The science is showing this. I have been in touch with some of the most eminent scientists in the world, and they condemn ERCNIP, the regulator, the International Commission for Non-Ionising Radiation Protection. They are a joke. No government should be taking them seriously. The scientists made an EMF call to the United Nations demanding lower regulation because there are no proper health and safety standards for these devices. We are irradiating children in schools when the children go in to school all day with what is a class one carcinogen. It should be banned from schools. Schools should be made legally to implement ethernet cables and cable up every instrument because this younger generation coming through, and I can't sell my grandchildren among them, and I love them very much. And if you love your children, you will start to learn about the subject of EMF radiation. The most, the most ubiquitous and damaging environmental toxin of our time. And the time is now for, for us to take action. Contact your MPs, contact your MSPs, contact your councillors. Everyone alive in the modern society in the UK suffers from some form of microwave radiation sickness. Whether you see the symptoms or not, we are all suffering from it. It has got neurodegenerative abilities. The mechanisms of harm are well known by the scientists, but they have been ignored. It is a bloody outrage. What will happen is if in the fetus a pregnant woman is, is allowing her child to be irradiated through not knowing and unaware of the damage, simply leaving a mobile phone near the child in a pram, which I've seen, or the pram parked next to a Wi-Fi router, or even going into a cafe, sitting near people with there's Wi-Fi on and sitting near people with a mobile phone. That child is running the risk of calcium gate ionisation effects. See Professor Paul's work for this. The calcium will be forced into the cells as it's being radiated by the pulsation of the microwave trans uh, data signals going through because it goes right into the skull. And what will happen is excess calcium forced in will cause and contribute to hugely to autism. As we look at older people, the effect there, if you're in an old people's home, where unfortunately where people go these days and they're meant to be being looked after, and there's Wi-Fi there. We're irradiating people there too. They're being irradiated on buses and at their work and at home. Who is switching off Wi-Fi at night? So if your Wi-Fi goes through the walls, we are damaging ourselves needlessly through our own ignorance. Let's put this black and white. Our government needs to know the evidence. ERCNIP, the regulator, is nonsense. Their testing of a dummy in 1998 is just Monty Python-esque. It is ridiculous. It's time to take action. Check out the signs. Don't believe me. I wouldn't waste my time doing this unless this was serious. It's time to look after our children. It's time to look after our families. It's time to look after our communities. And it's time for the Scottish Government to look at the evidence of the peer-reviewed signs, up to 10,000 articles written. Many, many important studies done recently showing radiofrequency radiation is a carcinogen. 
it's time to take action. Let's protect ourselves. Let's learn the better behaviours, lower our exposure to electromagnetic radiation, keep ourselves healthier. Thank you.